It's a day not only of auction, but a day of eating. This is where the fork meets the cork. Nine Bravo Top Chef winners are preparing lunch for Auction Napa Valley. You're also a winner in your in many other ways. Stephanie Izard, James Beard Award this year. I know. Now you make me feel all flushed and verklempt. So tell us about lunch today. We are. We heard that it was going to be hot out today. 93 degrees as a Chicago, and we haven't gotten to that yet this year. Um, so we decided to do a little royal red shrimp ceviche. They're really sweet. They come from really far, like 800 to 1,000 feet underwater, so they're super sweet. Being a Top Chef winner, I'm sure no challenge could, could fluster you at this point. I know, we were joking last night at dinner, like, what if this actually was a Top Chef episode, and they're going to walk in, and the new challengers are going to go against us or something. Um, so we're always ready for anything. Awesome. Well, I'm thinking maybe a Napa Valley Sauvignon Blanc with that shrimp sounds pretty good to me. That's Sounds good. I'll wait for a glass over here. All right. <laughs> I'll take care of you. Wow. Auction Napa Valley. And we have a winner chef cooking our dinner tonight. It's literally Joseph Lynn, James Beard Award winner. First of all, just have to say congratulations. I'm so excited. Thank you so much. Uh, it's an honor to be here. And some of the main items that we're going to serve, fried chicken. So. Uh, Blackberry's kind of known for some of their chicken, so we're going to do that out here. Uh, we've smoked some ribs. Uh, we're also going to do some shrimp with Alabama white sauce. So we kind of uh, wanted to bring some of the themes of Tennessee out here to Napa and then finish off with some strawberries from the region uh, with a simple sugar cake and uh, a savion made with uh, brebby cheese, which is one of the cheeses we make. I've got Annette Schaefer, this year's culinary chair. This is an amazing culinary celebration for Auction Napa Valley. How did you do it? It's been a lot of fun, a lot of work, but a lot of fun. And it's the first time all these chefs have been together in any venue anywhere. So that, yeah, it's fantastic. So I would call cooking for 900 people the ultimate quick fire challenge, wouldn't you? I would too, I would too. And especially if you saw what Meadowood had to do to back them up. Well, that's just a glimpse, or should I say a taste, of the incredible culinary delights here at Auction Napa Valley. Next up, we're gonna showcase all the amazing entertainment. Meantime, I'm gonna take a little bite. I do wish they had taste division. Rose and ribs, anyone?